What's going on, everybody? You know the deal, you know the drill, and you know who it is. And uh, we back. All right, want to talk about... I know I'm a little late. I think probably about two weeks late. But I want to talk about Android 21 lab coat, <laughs> as they would put it in parentheses, uh, and what this could mean for Dragon Ball Fighter. Now, I know a lot of people have probably already talked about this. But I want to give my I want to give my take on it and what I think this could possibly mean for Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, for the... Uh, I'm going to touch on one thing first. Um, I'm going to get this. This is the elephant in the room. Rollback netcode. I'm going to get this out the way. I do not see rollback netcode happening in Dragon Ball Fighters. They are not going to update Dragon Ball Fighters and give us rollback netcode. Not for this game, right? Because they need to make another game so that they can sell more, so that they can actually pay for the, the, the resources that are needed to implement rollback netcode. Right, so just making DLCs here and there and here and there, to me, it doesn't make sense on a monetary stance for them to try to add rollback netcode. Now, that's not to say that they won't surprise a lot of us because, let's face it, a lot of the times they the devs do do things that surprise us. Do do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, devs do things that that surprise us. So I mean. I don't think it's beyond the realm of possibility. I just don't think, me personally, I don't think that it has, it, it, I don't think that it's going to happen. Um, it makes more sense for them to make an entirely new game, implement rollback netcode, and then have the consumers pay for everything that comes with the new game, right? If you guys, I don't know if you, does that matter? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't get in the conversation, let me know what you think about everything. Uh, secondly, does this mean more characters are coming to Dragon Ball Fighters? I would say yes. I would say yes. Because if they were done with the game, they would just be done with the game. Drop it. Let's let's start developing Dragon Ball Fighters 2 or Ultra Dragon Ball Fighters or Super Dragon Ball Fighters. Whatever the hell they got going on, they would just start doing that. But they're not. Me personally, I don't think we need a Dragon Ball Fighters 2. Now what they could do is just keep dumping more content into Dragon Ball Fighters. That way, us buying the content well, the upcoming content would kind of make up for the finances they needed to spend to implement rollback netcode. Of course, because you guys have, I, I'm sure everybody in the gaming community knows that implementing such a huge network um, functionality is not going to be cheap. You know what I'm saying? And those types of things, it takes resources to actually implement those things. It takes resources to gather the resources to actually give us what we are looking for. And I know everybody wants rollback netcode. Me personally, I think that a rollback net... I, I'm not even gonna... I don't I don't care about rollback netcode. I'm Midwest, if you want to say. I'm Southwest Michigan, right? So I feel like I'm not too far away from everybody, um, except for like the people that are overseas and stuff like that. Those are the only players that I feel like I have a problem with when I'm playing online. Other than that, man, I don't really have network issues. So personally, I'm not an advocate for rollback network. I don't care because I don't have network issues. Now, um, I talked to a couple of my friends. They say the same thing, which is, you know, cool. Um, but for the most part, if you in Cali playing somebody in New York or let's just say Maine or Baltimore or something, you might have a, you might have a few hiccups here and there. So I understand those people advocating and pushing for rollback netcode but i do not think it's gonna happen in this game if anything is gonna happen in the sequel of this game um just to jump back on topic because i was talking about future characters i do think they're gonna add more characters but what i think they're gonna end up doing is they're going to end up exhausting their content to where there's not gonna be a point to make a dragon ball fighters 2 um so if they're gonna do anything now I would say they need to stop at Android 21 Lab Coat. Unless they finna start digging into Dragon Ball Heroes and stuff and Xenoverse and adding Toa and Mira and we get Tapion and PyCon and then we get Bojack and uh, Zangia and then they just keep going with the GT content. I mean, I'm an advocate for a whole GT pack. I just think they should give us Super 16 or I'm sorry, not Super 16, Super 17, Omega, Nova, Aishinron, General Rildo. I, I don't know if you guys remember General Rildo, but he was one of the first enemies that they battled at the beginning of um, uh, Dragon Ball GT. Um, Garlic Jr., you know, just different characters like that. Pan, I would love to see Pan just to put her alongside Videl and Gohan. That would be pretty cool. And they kind of implement like a whole Kamehameha thing with Videl. I'm not Videl, but Pan and Gohan, you know, because she's like quarter Saiyan or some shit like that. Um, but 
To be perfectly honest, man, if they go too far into the content, they're going to run out of content. Nobody's going to want to, nobody's going to feel their, uh, they're, they're not going to have a need to buy another Dragon Ball game. Not of this level, not like this, because if you keep adding movie characters, you're going to run out of movie characters to add in the next game. You keep adding different um, universal characters, you're going to run out of different universal characters for the next game. If you jam pack an entire GT um, character pack into Dragon Ball Fighters, you're gonna you're, there's not gonna be anything left. And then what happens in the fighting game community is something that I despise, and I do apologize about my shirt. I, I did everything I could to try to get it to act right. Um, and the reason I say that is because to me it's kind of distracting, and I don't really like it. They're gonna eventually end up running out of content if they just keep dumping stuff into this one. And I don't think that's smart, but like I said, I'm a little bit biased because I don't need a Dragon Ball Fighters 2. You know, I don't see what else they can do except for implement rollback netcode. Anything else, they can just dump into this game. Now, if they upsell the Fighters packs, then they may be able to put rollback netcode into this game. Which means that the normal price that we were paying for um the the fighters passes it, it, it it's more expensive probably like ten dollars more and that to me that makes up for what they would be missing out in regards to finances if they were to put rollback netcode in this game um i do think rollback netcode is warranted for the tournament scene right because covid is kicking ass and that stands i do think that the online tournaments are going to become more prominent and they need to do something for those players because if they don't, there's going to be a problem. They're going to have to start taking that game <laughs> off of the online tournament scene. Now, I did realize that they are starting to do the in-person tournaments, which is great. Um, but I also noticed that people don't care about what's happening. <laughs> and if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, just, you know... <laughs> what does that say for a timeline in regards to when we're going to get the next game? What they're doing right now says a lot, right? I think what they're doing now, and they're adding more content, I think that means that we're at least two years away from a sequel. If not two, I, I would say between a year and a half and three years away from a sequel. Because they're, they're, I, it, just, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, am I excited about Android 21 Lab Coat? Yes. I am excited for Android 21. That's why, I, because I love the female characters. You guys, y'all been around long enough. I've been doing this for five. Y'all understand what I'm saying. I love the female characters, right? And that's just that's just how it is. You check my Twitch. It's all, it, it, the bottom thing down there with all of the images, it's all female characters. I'm a for, I'm an advocate for female protagonists and female um, involvement in these video games, which is why I am highly interested in um, Forsaken. Is it called the new game that's coming out with the um, the black girl? I think it's called Forsaken. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. But yeah, for the most part, those th those are pretty much my thoughts in regards to what's happening with um, with Dragon Ball Fighters, once again, I said, like I said, I know I'm late. It's been quite a while. It's been almost three months, actually. Um, and no excuses. I, I don't. I don't need to spill my whole life out to you guys, for especially for those who watch, um, because as a consumer, that type of stuff doesn't matter. Because I'm a consumer, and when I want something, I'm like, yo, y'all needed to make the proper preparation so that I could come and get what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. Um, but. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys smack that like button. Of course, you all know that it helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps with people um, getting their channel promoted more and all of that. Also, smack the subscribe button. And if you want to, you can click the notification bell. I'll try my best to be as consistent as possible. But I do have a lot of stuff going on right now. I need to try to climb back out of a hole that I fell into a little while ago. So just bear with me. I'm going to be doing a little bit more video game content. Like I told you guys before, I am going to start back doing video game content. I know my last few videos have been discussion videos. Um, but I'm going to get back into the video game content. The reason I stopped is because I felt like I was wasting content. I was doing all of this, all of this editing and making all of these video game um, 
all of this video game content and it was only getting like six views. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm not doing that. But I know people will never get tired of somebody's opinion. So make sure you smack that like button and you know what else to do. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.